Thank you to be here, everyone. And uh, so let's talk about what we've done uh, during the, the Dagger Hack Night at London. And it was about uh, playing StarCraft uh, with Dagger. So let's talk, let's go back a little in the, in the previous episode and to quickly uh, introduce uh, our team. Uh, so we are three students from Polytech Montpellier from uh, the south of France, Mathias, Tristan, and me. And each of, each of, uh, each of us uh, is currently doing uh, an apprenticeship in a different uh, company. Uh, and we share a common interest in DevTools, infrastructure, infrastructure and learning, learning by building teams. So we also uh, wanted to give a big thank you to Polytech Montpellier for giving us the, the opportunity uh, to attend uh, KubeCon in London and uh, being here today with, uh, with, with, all of you, with all of us. And of course, a huge thank to the Dagger team for organizing uh, this Hack Night and giving us the, the chance, to, the chance to, to present what we worked on. So now, uh, let's talk about what was our mission for those who, who weren't there. The first step was to create a Qco2 with StarCraft. So for your information, Qco is a disk image format uh, used by Kimu. After that, uh, we planned to run Kimu inside a, pri a privileged container. And just a quick word on what's Kimu. It's a virtual machine emulator. And to run it, uh, so you need the slash dev slash KVM, which is a special file exposed by the host. But that's part of a pseudo file system. So that access so to access it, you, you have to run the, the container in privilege mode. That's how we manage to do it. So after that, we install we we plan to install Windows XP, uh, boot it up, and play Starcraft. Uh, and so the second part, running Kimu, actually worked. We got Kimu running inside a container. Great. We managed also to install Windows XP, but then we hit a wall. We got a problem. And our plan was to mount the QQ2 uh, with Star, 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 StarCraft, sorry, disk image from the host directly into Dagger. But for security reason, uh, Dagger doesn't uh, allow direct uh, mounting from the host. So instead of using a mount, we had to copy the entire image, image file, approximately uh, 16 gigabytes, byte by byte, into the container, which wasn't ideal, ideal uh, especially for, for large files. So in the end, yes. Windows XP run with Dagger, but sadly, no StarCraft. It was a fun challenge, and we are happy we, we got something working. And if you want to check check uh, check an article, Tristan actually wrote a full article, uh, and feel free to scan so the, the QR code, or check out the link uh, to read more. And with that, I hand it to and I hand it over to Matthias for the second part. A deeper dive into Dagger itself. Yeah, so I'm going to talk about a little bit about what we learned uh, this night uh, about Dagger and the uh, after because, uh, well, it was not working and we didn't really know why. So um, basically, uh, we got a lot of problems with the, the volume and things like that. So um, we, we tried to deep dive a little bit and we find we found that uh, at the end uh, dagger is a container uh, which is uh, running its wor workload directly with rancy uh, avoiding to use uh, the socket uh, the docker socket of the host uh, which is really great and um, do a, a very uh, good job to um, to uh, <laughs> Sorry for my cat. Um, and we have some, we have some cat lovers watching, I know, so they love that. Yeah. <laughs> um, and so um, it was not really possible to directly uh, mount a volume from the host 
uh, into uh, one of the runs workload run uh, by Dagger. So we, we learned a lot about Dagger, but it was not working. So we got some other options. Um, and um, for the first one, uh, we tried uh, Docker uh, Windows, which is um, a container that uh, that is uh, designed to run Docker uh, into a, to run Windows uh, into Docker. Uh, it does a really really good job, and uh, so um, we found that uh, this image uh, was using uh, Samba, which is a, a Windows capability. Uh, for uh, sharing uh, files uh, with host or with uh, other Windows instances. So um, we tried to directly uh, put uh, the StarCraft dist into the Dagger container where uh, the, the Samba mounting point uh, would be. So uh, it was working great. So we installed win Windows and, uh, and all. And uh, we managed to launch StarCraft, but uh, StarCraft needed uh, um, a CD-ROM to be played. So uh, it was installed, but uh, can't be played at the end. So it was really disappointing. And so uh, we tried another thing, uh, which was to use Libvirt. If you can, uh, yeah. you can switch. Oh, yeah, let's go. Yeah, so uh, it was a really good idea. But uh, inside of Docker, uh, it was really hard to uh, to use because uh, it uses a socket and um, a socket from the host. So um, it was not really a, a good idea uh, at the end. And uh, I let uh, Christine continue. Yeah. Uh, just I just want to go back to uh, the Docker thing. Uh, I want to uh, thank a lot uh, Marco from um, the Dagger team, which uh, who uh, we chatted a little about. Um, about our problem, and he gave us uh, an example where he was using uh, Docker to um, to run uh, Windows XP in Dagger. So he did that uh, before us, and uh, thank you very much for the hint that we you gave us. So now let's see if we made it. <laughs> uh, I will just escape and show you a little window called Kemu VCN. Let me connect to VCN. And here we are. So uh, during Dagger at night, uh, we let it you uh, just here. So let me just make it a little bigger. Yeah, let's go. Uh, we let it you here, but there was no StarCraft. Now did we manage to make StarCraft working? So let's go to my computer. And here we have a little uh, program called StarCraft. We launch it and Let's go. We can play StarCraft now. Uh, so, nice. yeah. So the um, the remaining part of the um, of the presentation will just be me playing StarCraft for I think one hour. If you're okay with that. Yeah. Uh, we have ten minutes. <laughs> yeah. So <laughs> jokes aside, uh, let's go back to the presentation. Um, so now you might be wondering how we did it. So basically, the trick was just a simple bash uh, script. As you may know, um, a, a container is basically just a process. So when uh, you spin up a container, it will spin up a process with a certain uh, what we call uh, Linux namespaces uh, that make sure that the um, process is isolated from the host. Uh, long story short, as long as your, contain uh, your process is living, your container will live. So our problem was that uh, we couldn't mount multiple uh, CD-ROMs to the same uh, chemi process. So what we did, we spin up a little bash script that was doing everything sequentially. First, we launched VNC, which is the console that is used to play StarCraft, uh, to play uh, uh, from the, the virtual machine. Then we create a little uh, QCO2 disk to avoid uh, the volume uh, problem. Then we install Windows XP thanks to that script. And finally, we launch um, Windows with uh, the StarCraft disk mounted. Um, so just to, to deep dive into that, what happens is that, OK, the VNC client is launched in background, so we can use that uh, during the entire lifecycle uh, of the container. Uh, then you play, uh, you install Windows XP, you reboot Windows, and then boom, you can play StarCraft. Um, and now what it is into Dagger, it's really easy, easy. 
it's uh, the entire complexity is uh, within the Docker container. So in Dagger, you can just uh, industrialize all the that thing. Uh, you mount uh, your your two uh, ISO files. Uh, you add a little uh, end variable to uh, tell um, our bash scripts where are StarCraft. Then you give some uh, exposed parts. Actually, you only need uh, the 8006 uh, parts. And then you run a Gentry script. Um, so now, uh, if you want to check out the code, uh, everything is here. It's called the, the Zerg project, so because obviously Zerg is the best uh, uh, race in StarCraft. Um, and now let's focus on what we learn uh, during all that. So first, um, we thought that we could use um, uh, this little trick to uh, launch uh, Windows uh, jobs from Dagger, because I think that uh, now there, it's not yet possible. But uh, let's say that you have like a BAT script, you could eventually launch it uh, through a virtual machine uh, launched by Dagger. Um, then another, uh, another thing would be to add the GPU path through. So basically, it means uh, dedicating your entire GPU to a virtual machine. Uh, because right now, we can't play uh, big games like, uh, for example, uh, GTA or other games, because they, they need uh, uh, a GPU to be uh, played. Then, uh, unfortunately, we can't play a multiplayer for now, uh, because we don't have any uh, private server. But uh, that's not a big deal. And uh, also, we learned uh, a lot of good practices about uh, containers, because uh, actually, we dig uh, down, we went the, uh, inside the, um, uh, the Dagger engine. I can show you that really quickly. Sorry uh, uh, for the, the switch. So uh, let's say that we run uh, Docker PS. Then we see the, Docker, the Dagger um, uh, engine. We can uh, run this little command to go within it. And so if you go uh, inside the run uh, folder, you go inside run C, you can see just uh, one thing. So that is our um, Dagger um, process. Uh, it is a StarCraft, basically. Uh, but at some point uh, into that, we add a lot, a lot, a lot of uh, containers that were not killed correctly. Because when you are dealing with a lot of processes re um, running inside one container, you might have uh, what we call dead processes. So we used uh, Tini to make sure that this, it uh, doesn't happen again. And uh, finally, the last thing, um, it's a little bit of a bad, sur uh, bad surprise, but um, uh, when you uh, shut down your uh, your dagger process, your game will not be saved. So it's uh, kind of a pity, but uh, we didn't uh, manage to make it persistent yet. But uh, yeah, uh, I think that's all for us. Um, before uh, going to the questions, I just want to thank uh, some uh, people for uh, their help uh, on that project. So first of all, uh, thank you very much, Miranda. Uh, for uh, giving us the opportunity to talk uh, today. Uh, it was great. Uh, we want to thank uh, Marco, as I said before, because uh, we talked a little about uh, Windows in Dagger and etc. Uh, also, we want to thank uh, from Dagger uh, Tom and Justin, who gave us a, a lot of good hints uh, during the, um, the Dagger Hack Night. And finally, uh, Samuel Ortiz and uh, Vincent Berry, that are two of our teachers and Thank you very much, Guy, for giving us uh, uh, all um, uh, all these uh, lessons about uh, virtualization and uh, containerization. Uh, so thank you. Do you have any questions? We uh, thank you, all of you, for an amazing presentation, <laughs> and beautiful storytelling, plus amazing demo, which is like, it's just the best combination. So, um, so I, there is, uh, there's not necessarily questions. There's just everyone that's so excited <laughs> about seeing this uh, and great comments. Um, so the, yeah, thank you for sharing this. I, um, it's a great reminder that you know, learning and, and getting involved with this stuff. You know, even with Dagger, like you can, it can just be you know, very fun, exciting demos to see um, and fun use cases. And then um, you, you get to the Christoph type of demos and then you're you're 
figuring out like, okay, what, what are the pain points, you know, on this platform engineering side that I really need to solve. And then it's people like you who've built, built just these, you know, fun examples. And then it makes it easier for people to understand how they could implement it in their day-to-day -day work as well, including playing Star Starcraft during, uh, uh, one time. <laughs> so, yeah, definitely. Very, very fun to see.